Hey guys, Chris Chadwick right here, Hall County Cookers, Pit Master, and a Fireboard user. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Well, it's great to meet up with people who are using Fireboard. It's such a fun event out here at the American Royal. So, I'm Ted Conrad with uh, Fireboard Labs. And uh, yeah, Chris and I are out here. We thought we'd just sit down, and honestly, just have a, a little chat about kind of what you're, what you've been doing. You sure. know, you've been around in the barbecue circuit for a while. Sure. So tell us a little bit about how many years you've been doing this, and how's, well, how's it going? Well, Ted, I tell you what, I've been cooking since I was a kid. Uh-huh. Uh huh. We've been uh, burning. We've been burning a lot of wood. You know, we've cooked a long time. I started competing back in 2008. Really enjoy the whole atmosphere, just like this American Royal Hill. How, how massive it is! How yeah. many people are here, and and the camaraderie, all the people. How you know the feeling you get when you're right here. But uh, I've cooked a long time. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to do barbecue pit masters. Uh, I've done several other things. Uh, I do some celebrity throwdown pit master throwdowns as well. Uh, but I learned to cook like that old Hank Williams song. Pig in the ground, beer on ice, and all my rowdy friends are coming over tonight. Yeah. That we've done that, and out in the field. Um, but but barbecue, you know, it, it brings a lot of people together. And uh, what's nice about this day and time is the technology we use. Um, as we get older, we don't want to stay up all night. We don't want to cook a whole hog for 16 hours. We yeah. don't want to cook a shoulder for 16 hours and have to stay on that fire and manage it all the time. Yep. And honestly, what I like about the fire board is how I've got it set up on my big custom smoke uh, offset smoker. Yeah, tell me about, because you said you've used a drive system, you know, and you've hooked up your fans. Tell us a little bit about what you've done and how that's helped. Well, what I've got is an old-fashioned stick burner. It's custom made. I made it, so I know how custom it is. <laughs> but um, it's basically an offset direct heat unit that uh, that I have to fire ever so often. You know, I, as soon as I get down and get comfortable, I've got my pit set at the temp I want. But just in no time, I've really got to uh, get up and, and fire it again. Yeah. You know, it's a constant. Yeah. It's constant and it's a lot of work to to uh, managing a fire. Uh, the fire board, what's happened when I met you back at uh, Memphis in May and we talked about this, and uh, I've got a little background, electronics background, but I've customized me a couple of, of, of fans on this fire on this firebox, all set from the heat, naturally, because you know you've got to keep the heat away from your fans. But th this monitoring system for the temperature and to keep my pit regulated a little more so that I don't have to get up every hour. It's yeah. really been a blessing to have it. You know, it's very beneficial. Yeah. And uh, I enjoy, you know, I enjoy using it, which I'm not, I'm still really a newbie because I've never used this technology on one that I'm, I'm tweaking and I'm customizing, you know, and I might increase my fan, it, use the depth of, you know, my brackets for my okay. fan, my wind force, because, yeah. you know, the fans are only going to do so much. They're going to come on and kick on and off. Yeah. See so how much pressure you've got running to your heat, to yeah. your fire, to keep those coals, which I use Royal Oak charcoal, uh, fantastic lump charcoal, and I use hickory slabs okay. uh, to supplement the Royal Oak. And uh, this right here does a uh, fantastic job of that. Okay. And then you guys are based out of just Tennessee. outside of Memphis, right? Yes, yes, Pretty West close. Tennessee. Okay. Uh -huh. And do you do most of your cooking around there, at home, or out in competitions? Well, um, it's it's a really a big combination. Um, I, I started cooking small competitions, and I still enjoy the, the small town events. The yeah. 20 team guys, uh -huh. you know, because that's where you get a lot of, you, you just get a lot of good vibes, a lot of, a lot of good times out of a competition like that. Uh, we do, I'm fortunate enough to go do travel and do some bigger stuff and, mm -hmm. and cook a lot of larger areas. But uh, I enjoy the small hometown events. Uh, I was in Martin, Tennessee, just last weekend cooking a Tyson event, Tyson Chicken, Tyson. Uh -huh. Uh, they held the event, and we did, went down and, and did some uh, did the competition, and really enjoyed it. Yep. Uh, they had foreigner there in 38 special, so that was a big time. <laughs> that's fun. It was. Yeah, it was well, a that's big time. What I've enjoyed just you know these types of events are great, where you just you're able to talk to friends. You can. Yeah, you know, and, and food and barbecue just brings people yes. together. Yes. Um, so it's been fun for us to build this business and this industry where you know. 
people are relaxed, people yes. are having fun. And the door's I, open, yeah. and you've got a whole wide you've got a whole wide community there to uh, to explore. You know, yeah. to introduce your product to, and that's why I recommend it because I really enjoy it, and it helps me, especially when I would do when I really get down and do my great grassroots cooking. Uh -huh. You know, on the big pit. Uh, well, we've tried to make intentionally make our system you know simple and easy to use. Yes. Because I felt like, you know, as a technology guy, there, people don't want to be configuring no. options no. and doing all that. It has to be quick and easy Turn it and on. simple. Say it. And so I think we've tried to do that. I think hopefully we've it's done it. It's pretty successful. Yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty, I don't, I, I'm not going to describe it as basic, but the operation is so simple. It's simple. It's sim, the simplicity is really yeah. there, yeah. you know, and that's, that's a target because a lot of guys don't want to mess with a lot of wires. They don't want to mess with a lot of probes. They don't mess with all that stuff. They're busy yeah. cooking and worried about, you know, getting a product out there. And this right here is, it's really, you know, easy to set up. Yep. Well, this is great, Chris. Thanks for coming out and uh, being with us, and best of luck on the rest of the competition. Well, I appreciate and that. I'm sure we'll see and you we'll around see, here. Yeah, <laughs> we're going to hook up again and yeah. have some more fun, and, and thank you for having hey, me yeah. be a part. Thank I you, I really Chris. appreciate it. Okay. All right. We'll talk thank to you. Soon. you. All right. Thank thanks. You.